Hello students. Greetings from Firebird Institute of Research and Management. We provide the best PGDM and international MBA course in Canada. I welcome you all on behalf of Firebird Institute of Research and Management for this 90 days preparation strategy free national level webinar conducted by Firebird Institute of Research and Management. And now, so those who are planning to do their MBA in 2024, those who are planning to join their MBA in 2024, the MAT exam plays a very important role. As, I, as we have already said in our previous videos, the MAT is conducted four times a year in the month of September, December, and in February and May MAT. For the academic year 2023 to 2024, the MAT exam is to be held in the month of September. The first MAT exam is to be held in the month of September, second MAT in the month of December, third MAT in the month of February, and fourth MAT in the month of May. So only we have 90 days for our September MAT examination. So we at Firebird accepts the MAT score as well as CAT score from the students. And minimum score required for admission is 500. You should be able to have a MAT score of 500 plus in the MAT examination. And now, as you all know, the MAT exam has four parts. Mathematical skills, language comprehension, data analysis and sufficiency, intelligence and critical reasoning, Indian and global environment. From each section, they'll ask you 40 questions. And in total, you need to attend 200 questions in 150 minutes. The time allotted for the whole examination is around 2 hours, 30 minutes. So you need to attend 200 questions in 150 minutes. That is your target. And now, so at the December, uh, the dates for September mat are to be announced. Once the date is announced, definitely we will upload in our channel. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and also share this video with all your friends. And now, see, coming to mathematical skills part, what are the topics we need to cover and how we need to prepare for the examination? First, let us take mathematical skills part. From mathematical skills part, 40 questions are asked. Okay, from mathematical skills part, 40 questions are asked. Say we have analyzed last four sessions question paper in which the questions are covered from all the topics in a wide range. So the questions are from the basic number system and then LCM and HCF concept. The questions are also based on LCF and the HCF concept. And some of the concepts based on basic algebra. And when coming to the quantitative part, the main quantitative part, the questions are also from percentage, profit and loss, partnership, average, allegation, time and work, time, speed and distance, and next, time, speed and distance based triumphs problems, and time, speed and distance based boards and streams, and three to four questions are based on geometry, and two questions were based on mensuration, and you can also expect questions based on trigonometry, as well as permutation and combination part, and then probability part. And also the basic ratio and proportion. So these are the wide range of topics from which all the 40 questions are covered. So minimum you can expect a two questions from each topic. And my suggestion is you have to be very thorough with the basic concepts of number system, LCM and HCF, algebra to proceed further. 
and if you want to score around for five marks with the basic formulas you see it is enough if you go through the concepts like geometry and menstruation basic formulas definitely if you are if you get thorough with geometry and menstruation formulas definitely you can score five marks from this pattern okay so apart from that after practicing basic number system lcm and hcf algebra and then geometry and menstruation then start with your preparation with percentage profit and loss partnership see the topics see i'll take the topics which involves percentage percentage is a very very important concept percentage profit and loss partnership and then time and work time speed and distance average time speed and distance based train problems boats and swim problems so percentage concepts will also be involved in these concepts in these topics definitely so mathematical skills part and then mathematical skills parts definitely they will ask you 40 questions so 40 questions you need to answer minimum in 40 minutes that is how you should practice so the time allotted for this section should be minimum 40 minutes minimum 40 minutes is required so if you have a good practice and if you have a sound knowledge in mathematical skills so if you have a uh, sound knowledge in basic fast addition subtraction and these concepts definitely you can crack mathematical skills part out of 40 questions you can solve up to 30 to 35 questions if you go through these concepts definitely. So keep it in mind that from each and every topic, there will be minimum two questions because in total, they're asking 40 questions, right? Okay, so minimum 40, 40 minutes you should allot for mathematical skills part. So as you know that in two hours, 30 minutes, right? In two hours, 30 minutes, 40 minutes you should allot for mathematical skills part okay so these are the topics definitely you have to prepare and start your preparation from now so definitely uh, nearly around uh, 15 plus topics you need to cover for the upcoming mathematic uh, september math exam under mathematical skills part okay i hope you got some idea and next up Winners who lead. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. 